Okay, so this will be your uh, basic setup in preparation for cutting your chicken for saute. As you can see here, I have my tray in front of me. I have a waste bowl here to one side. I have uh, two knives, tweezers. You can also see I have a blowtorch there, if required. I have to singe any feathers, uh, red board obviously for raw meat, and then I have uh, my gloves. So the process is going to be that we obviously would check your chicken over to make sure that it's in date. There's no excess feathers. If they are, then they're singed or removed. No broken bones, no blemishes, no bruising. Um, like I said, it's fresh, it's in date. There's a pleasant smell from it. Uh, there's no innards in it, they've all been removed. And that would be just your uh, pre-check that you would have on your chicken before we go and process it there for uh, Saudi chicken. So that's stage one there. So we're going to process our chicken for saute. So like I said, we've done our pre-check. We know that it's fresh, it's in date. We know there's no broken bones, no blemishes. Uh, there's no tears in the skin. We know that we have um, uh, any singed feathers, excess feathers have been singed. Now obviously if you need to singe feathers, there's two ways you can do it. You can use a blowtorch, or if you have a gas ring, you, you can do that. So it's just a matter of just run it over the board like that, over the skin. And like I said, if there's any excess feathers, they will all be just singed off. Okay, it's really quick, really simple. And then again, it just shows skill as part of the presentation and stuff like that. Very, very quick. There wasn't many feathers on this. And just remove that to one side. And then we just turn our chicken back. Okay. So as you can see here as well, if I move my board to one side, um, I have two possible knives that I can use. Uh, depending on what books you read um, and what method you see, they will either use a bone knife or they use a small chopping knife. Again, this is gonna be, I would say, down to your own personal uh, preference. I have always trained with a bone knife. Um, so I am gonna try, I guess, to do half the chicken with a bone knife and I'll do the other half the chicken then um, if I can, with the uh, small uh, chopping knife, okay, or cook's knife. Um, various things you just want to make sure there, uh, like I said, that no broken bones and everything is as it should be. Fresh smell, in date, uh, there's no excess uh, or innards or anything like that. Sometimes you can get um, some excess fat here. Um, and I would just remove that as well, okay, and that would go into your waste bowl. As you can see, I have my tray uh, in front of me, nicely prepared, ready there. I also have my waste bowl here, just to one side for general waste. I also have a tweezers here if I want to take out some of the uh, little sinews in the legs and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I can also notice here that we have a broken bone here, okay, uh, that's something you would kind of um, you would flag up as well uh, before you, if you're doing it for an exam or for a competition just you want to make a note of that to the judges so they don't mark you down because they think that you have uh, not cracked the bone correctly just little things like that that you want to uh, inspect your your bird before you would start your competition or start preparing you want to start with i have always start with the uh, taking out the wishbone it's something i always do so uh, I'm using the bone knife, so what I want to do here, we have the bone goes down like a V here like this We want to come in at this side here, okay, and scrape the bone down here We'll come in at this side here, scrape the bone down here uh, We want to then uh, free it where it's fused at the bottom, so nick there, nick there So the bone is now free, okay And then we're going to use our fingers there to clean up along the bone, clean up along the bone Push up to where it's fused at the top, twist and pull out So that's basically how we're going to take out the wishbone so we put our knife in. I've turned this, obviously I've turned this board around so the camera can kind of see it. In, and we scrape. You're gonna hear that scraping noise. Same side, the other side, and we scrape again until we see it. So we have the bone exposed. And you'll be able to feel here with your fingers, okay, that you have removed or you have given access to the wishbone with your knife. Okay, so we just go on the other side and down on the other side Again, you're using your fingers here to feel, okay? And then you push up, okay? If it breaks, it's not a big deal, but you're just showing skill here. This one is already broken, still take it out, okay? 
Okay, so we have the wishbone there. Okay, let me just take out this one here. There we go. Now, again, there's something we can look at again and maybe cleaning that and the excess uh, meat and flesh off that as well. Again, it, if it doesn't come out clean like that, you could think about cleaning it down and we'll look at time at the end there of maybe looking back at that to keep it clean. And it just shows skill and stuff like that as well. So our wishbone is out. So the next thing we want to do is we want to turn the board around and we want to stretch the skin. Stretch the skin so we can nick. We just want to cut the skin. That's all we want to do is cut the skin, turn it around, nick the skin okay we want to nick the skin so we can just stretch out the drumstick and the thigh away from the the breast and the red the rest of the bird okay and then we turn it over you pop it out okay so you're popping the the ball ball joint out of the socket okay and what that is going to do is as you do that you see the piece of oyster meat okay the oyster will kind of plump up and we just nick the skin. So again, I'm using my knife a little bit like a scalpel. And what we want to do is we want to come in around the oyster, like so. And it's like a little pothole. It's a little dimple there. And that's your oyster there, okay, here. Okay, and we just want to work your way down a lot and we just take that off and we will put that on our tray, okay. And then if I was to use the small chopper knife, small cook's knife, Again, we have, we have already cut the skin, we stretch it out, we turn it over, we pop the bone out. Okay, you can see it's popped out here. Okay, you can see that. Again, then we just use the knife there to in around the oyster. And it's whatever knife you feel comfortable with. Okay, like I said, I've always trained with a Uh, a bone knife so that's what I would use and there's a second one off okay so there's our two first pieces off and we turn the board back over so as you can see here this is my whole board and I have removed the two uh, thighs and drumsticks okay so I just have to turn it over here you can see here where we had the two pieces of oyster Okay, so we have removed them. So that's showing skill there. Okay, we have turned it back over here. We have removed our wishbone, okay, which was here. And you can see then on the tray then, I have my two uh, drumsticks and thighs. We can see the oyster piece of meat here. There's a little bit of cartilage there that will just need to be removed when we're prepping that up. Um, and then you can see the other one and they're even in shape, even in size. And that's them on our tray. And like I said, our wishbone is here. It was broken, that's okay. But I would, and I probably will just clean that up there just for presentation at the end. Okay, so the next stage there now is what we're going to do is we're going to stretch these out. Okay, and we're going to clean these next, the wing mats. Another point to consider there and I just want to insert there before we go too much further here, is it would be a good idea and it's more professional as well if you have a tray with a cloth that you put your knives on. Again, this shows there that your knives aren't in contact with your bench, cross contamination and stuff like that. And I would always uh, wipe my knives down periodically as you go through as well, okay, with disposable wipes or toweling paper. Okay, and that's just another point there. Just for the hygiene, you want to get as many points as you can go forward with this and it's good uh, professional skills as well. want to clean the winglets, okay? So what we want to do then, first of all, is we just want to cut this joint out. So pull it out, stretch, and then just cut right through. And for a second then, we'll just pop those on the tray. Again then, we just cut through like that. Okay, and we just pop those on there like that. Okay, what we want to do then is we want to clean these. Okay, so you put it on the side. Um, now you can do this by taking, when you take the breast off, or we can do it uh, right now, okay? So I, I am now going to elect there that I'm going to leave that, and I'm going to do it once I take off my mini breasts or mini fillets, okay? So to do that, I'm going to turn this around. I find the center, and I find my edge, okay? I come out halfway, and then I cut there like that. And what that should do then is, if I've cut correctly, then when I cut, 
it will when I cut straight down there like that it's going to take me right through the joint there okay like so okay so you put the bird on its side and then all again I'm using my knife nearly like a scalpel okay because I've cut you just cut straight there turn on its side and then it's just like peeling it off there's one again that we find the center you find the edge you come out halfway and we cut there like that okay and then down through the joint straight down okay you want to cut straight down here on its side and then it's you just more or less nicking all right and pulling so it's a combination of nicking with this hand to release the flesh and pulling with your left hand okay all right so i'm just going to move this to one side onto my tray for a second and what we have here now is we have our two breasts, okay? And that's the next stage there. So I've removed my two mini breasts as I call them there. So what, I've one turned each way here, just so you can see here. So the next job is going to be, is just to define the shape of these. So if you have excess skin like that, that will be stretched and cut. If there's any uh, excess flesh down here, it will be tapered off and it'll be cut so it's uniform. If you have any like fat there, that will be trimmed off. And again, you turn on the far side there. Um, if there's any veins, any blood that need to be removed, they will be removed as well. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to clean the bone. So that's going to be the next stage there. Okay, so the next stage here is we're going to clean these breasts up. So put one to one side. We'll do this one first. So if we have excess skin, we just want to stretch it out and cut. Okay, and that's going to go in there. My waist bone, turn on the side, and then anything on the side there, we just trim that up. What we're trying to do is we're trying to find a nice breast shape to it. Okay, the next thing we need to clean the bone. So I just find the top of the bone, cut. So I scrape down along the bone, like so. And then with my blade, I put my fingers together on the blade and I push down like that, okay? And then snap, and then we pull it back, stretch back up along the other side and trim, okay, like that. So put one there. And again, then we stretch the skin here, and nick. We define the shape underneath there, as is required. So you need to be separating out your waist as well, okay, as you go along. From skin and fat and gristle and uh, waist up to uh, parts that can be used maybe for a stock. So again, find the top of the bone, pinch down along the bone, okay? So I'm using the, the, the bone as my guide to cut down along. Once you get to the end, then what I do is fingers together, you know where they are, put pressure on the, on the knife and down. Okay, like so, snap. And then it just peels back up. Okay, and there, that's your waist. Now, I've kind of spoken about then as well. There is other options there where you could use the back of a bowling knife and you have a quick hit like that. Um, some people will use the blade itself and they'll give it a quick hit. What I've kind of discussed there is that generally um, you need to be very, very sure. You need to be very uh, practiced uh, to, if you're going to be doing something like that, that you can ensure that you uh, hit that bone in exactly the same place every time. Okay, because you need to make sure there that your bones are exactly the same length. Okay, because that's going to be a quality point. Just turn them over there. Yeah, they look, there's nothing to be done really on the inside. They're okay. So we're going to put those on our tray and they're even in size. So that's our two uh, mini breasts. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring back our centerpiece here now, and then we're going to remove this next. Okay, so next part of the process here, before I go any further, what I do is I just gonna move this back onto my tray for a second. I would get a disposable cloth and then I would just give my bench or my board and my knife just a clean, okay? Just like that. And then it just 
keeps your area clean and tidy. That's going to go into your disposable waste, okay? Just to one side that you will have ready. And then it just makes your board nice and dry again. Your blade is clean, your hand is clean if it is, uh, if it has become greasy, and then you can process on. Now, next part, we have our center part here, okay, of our chicken, and we are going to trim that up. But before we do that, uh, like I said, you're gonna have carcass now in a second, and you want to show skill and you want to show knowledge here, because you're gonna, you would process this part of the carcass uh, for stocks and stuff like that. But the first thing I would do is I would take off excess skin. So it's easy to cut it off while it's still whole. That is gonna be part of my waist. Same with this here, just down along here. Really simple, it's done really, really quickly. But you're just showing skill there that you know there that if you remove the fat uh, or the skin there, which the fat will render down once you um, you blanch it or you put it on to, to boil in a stock, uh, it will render down fat and there's excess skin and stuff like that. So you're just showing skill there again like that. Okay, so the next thing what we wanna do is we want to open up the back of the chicken. All right, so I just go in like that and out. I turn it on the side there like that, and we are going to just cut down along the carcass there like that. To the end, to the end, just to the bone, okay? And then we look at this here, if you have excess fat there, that's going to be taken off there like that, it's fat. We just turn that over there, and then you stretch the skin again, cut off any excess skin. If your carcass here, just look at this here, if there's any excess fat here in this or anything like that. It can be trimmed up and removed again, and then it just saves that being, um, it just saves it uh, rendering down uh, when you put it into a stock and stuff like that. Okay, and it just shows skill. So we're just gonna cut this into two pieces, so you kind of want even pieces there. So again, fingers together on the blade, cut one and like that okay so there we have it like that one two and three on our uh, tray okay come back to here then and uh, we are just going to be dividing this into two pieces okay so more than likely you will be working up 1.5 k chicken or three or three pound chicken or 1.5 uh, kg so that should give us four beautiful portions so we just want to find the center and then just cut okay, in half. Now just things you want to look out for here in case there's any cartilage or there's any little bones here that are loose, I would just remove them okay, so that they wouldn't fall off then maybe when um, you're processing if you had to go on and cook and stuff like that, any small bones there that you would just remove them so they wouldn't become uh, dangerous. So we have our two pieces of center chicken and we have our two uh, mini fillets, uh, our mini breasts, done. Uh, thighs and drumsticks, which we need to separate and prep, okay? So the first thing we want to do is we want to separate them. So if you look here, there's a little white line. If I turn this one, it's always on the, on the chicken, okay? So it's there and there, and that shows you the point there where you cut through and you will cleanly separate two of them, okay? That's the first thing here, just cut through there. And we have now separated our drumsticks from our thighs, all right? So we just pop them just in that corner there for a second while we do the thigh. So the thigh is very, very simple, okay? If you have any excess skin and fat, we just take that off, put it to one side, okay? Same with this side, any excess there, you scrape it out, stretch it out, remove it, okay? That's the first thing we do. Now, there's two, thing, two ways you can do it, so I'm gonna do it both ways. Uh, it's something we'll probably need to clarify here, uh, do we leave the bone out and we trim up the bone or do we take the bone out? Okay, there's two ways and we, I will do one each way. So the first way to take the bone out is really, really simple. Tip of the knife and we just start to remove the flesh. Always move the item around so that you're comfortable working with it. What I do then is put my knife in underneath, up and out. Scrape down, like so, till the end and then we just remove it, the bone there like that, okay? Uh, and then that would that would go with your your bones and stuff like that. What I would do with that then is, I would more than likely uh, it could be used for stock there. Okay, and um, you would just kind of clean it up. Okay, 
Okay, I'll come back to that in a minute, but just to show you that, that to one side. Okay, and then you just gotta make sure, if you do take the bone out, you just need to make sure that there's no cartilage left behind. Okay, now we had a little bit here, cartilage, we talked about that in the beginning there. We pop that in there and you would just roll it over. So that is one prep method, okay? But as you can see, the thigh looks quite small. Uh, the other option would be to just leave the bone in place, but you would trim up the bone. So again, then stretch the skin, cut off the excess, turn it over, stretch the skin, cut off the excess. And what you're gonna do then is, we're just gonna trim around the bone, okay, the top of the bone and scrape it down. So we're gonna leave an actual piece of bone in place, but we're going to just do like that. So we've cleaned that side, then we just want to clean the meat away or free the meat from the other end here. Leave a little bit of cartilage there as well that we just need to make sure that we cut out. And that is removed. So we're freeing the meat, like I said, from each end this little knuckle there. And then what we're gonna do is, we're going to just cut the top off the bone. So fingers together and a little bit of pressure. The top of the bone is off. Okay, this one side. And then the other end, we've freed all the meat. Knife down, yeah, like that. And we free the meat. So what we're left with, we're left with a little piece of bone, about an inch uh, in the center, which will conduct heat and help cook, but it also gives it a more bulky shape and it looks bigger. So you can see one with bone, one without, and you can see there that one looks bigger. The one the bone still looks bigger. Okay, so that's, we just pop them there, like that. And we come to our drumsticks next. Okay, so we're going to do our drumsticks next. This is very, very easy again. So I will, this one is the one that's broken. Okay, so I'll just pop that and I'll do this one first. Again, then we stretch the skin and any excess skin there, we would just remove. Okay, just like that. What I would do then is cut around the bottom here to cut the tendons, okay. And then what we're going to do then is, again, we are going to Fingers on the blade, push. Okay, nice clean cut. Remove that. And you can see that if I kind of stretch the skin back there, you can see there that I've exposed some of the tendons. And if you have a pliers then, okay, you can just take them out like that. Like that. It just gives a better mouthfeel to your chicken. Now this predominantly would have been done with duck legs, but it just shows a little bit of skill. And if you have the time then, then we can do it, okay? They're not very big, okay? So I have the tendons there, like so, and I'll just put them in the corner there. Again, we also, what you want to remember is that you do the other end here, that we trim up the other end of the, uh, the knuckle here. So you move a bit of cartilage there. So again, we just, Free the meat that is around this here, this end. It's quite easy to do. Okay, and once you free the meat then, again then we just want to put it down. Nice cut through, take the top off the bone. And that's just nice and clean there. And then it's just a matter of stretching your skin back over there like that and you have a beautiful little drumstick there okay there like that nice and neat okay and I'll just leave those tendons there for a second there so we can just see them okay this one here same thing again cut off your excess skin okay and then like this one is broken so we will do our best
last part to prep. So what we have, do we have the two winglets here? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim here, okay? And they can be kept there for stock. Okay, so I'll just pop them there on my tray. Okay, and they can just be kept like that. Now, there's two ways you can do this. Again, this can be clarified here. Uh, the old fashioned way would be to make a lollipop um, and a more modern way would be just to trim them up. So I'm going to do both. Okay, so a lollipop, what we would do is we have two bones in here. So we were going to remove the smaller of the bones. Okay, so you just nick at each end here just to kind of free it up. And just feel for where they are and like that. And then we just push from one end to the other. Just push that bone out like that. And just pop that bone there. What we're going to do then is you just cut around the bone. Again, this is um, the way I was trained when I was in college. You don't see it so much anymore. Okay, so we just trim the meat to free the meat around each end of the bone like that. And what we do is we twist like that. If you have a little bit of cartilage there, which I have, just free that, close your waist bone. And all we want to do is just, you just twist them, free the meat like that, okay? And we just push it to one end and we shape it in a ball, okay? Like so. And it will stand. Now, if you're doing this, then you just need to make sure that this bone is spotlessly clean and that there's no cartilage or anything left on the bone is completely clean, there like that. Like that. You could get a piece of waste paper or towel paper just to make sure the bone was spotlessly clean. Okay, like that, and we'll just pop that on the tray. I guess more modern there, what we would do is we would just remove one bone Again, just cut there. So the smaller bone would be removed. Again, you just feel for it and we just push it through on one end, like that. There we go. And then what you're gonna do then is we would clean the bone, just trim the bone. Just cut the top off it there and cut the top off the other end there that make sure there's no cartilage there if there is then just make sure it's freed and it's removed into your waste bowl okay so you just a matter of checking and then you just trim the sides and the excess there like that Like okay, so that's uh, another way of presenting it. These two bones here, again then, um, I would, just as a matter of course there, I would just clean these out. It's not gonna take very long. There's one. You just wanna make sure then that you have all this cartilage there at the end off like that. Use the tip of your knife on this one here. So it's all about showing skill and your presentation skills at the end. There like one. Like I said, I would have a bit of disposable paper then that I would also use then just to clean up these bones. And then all that cartilage is off there like that. And all this goes into your waist and we have our two winglets, okay, like that. Just pop those bones on there, like so. So there we have everything done. Put that back on my tray. And obviously you would make sure your tray is clean. This board then would be removed once you had presented your tray.
and your whole area will be clean and sanitized down your knives will be clean and sanitized down and you would leave your work area just as you got it clean and free from anything So here's our finished tray that I'm just going to go over there just to show you here. So you can see here we have our two mini breasts and we have two drumsticks. Okay, bones are cleaned. We have our two pieces of center breast and we have our two thighs. Like one has the bone removed, you can see this one, um, and the, it's a little bit smaller. And this one has the bone where the bone has just been uh, cleaned at both ends. Okay, don't forget there that's cleaned here and also cleaned underneath there as well. We have the three pieces of our um, the back of the chicken where we have also removed the skin. We have our wishbone there, which we have cleaned up. We have our wing tips. There are our sinews here. There are our two little. Uh, winglets okay um, one which I've done like a drumstick very traditional and one where I've just removed the center bone and then I've just trimmed up um, the bone removing to take off any cartilage just at either end and you can see at the two little bones which I've cleaned up here at the end and you can see at the back then I have my bowl of waist skin gristle muscle um, cartilage and everything like that so that is a very comprehensive uh, run through of how to cut a chicken up for saute. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe and share. And until we see you again, uh, thank you very much for watching this video.